Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Let's open a beverage of your choice. Because today, I'm going to be doing a review of the series, or what I have of the series, of 21 Down. It was printed, or published by Wildstorm. And written by uh, Jimmy Palmiotti and uh, Justin Gray. Uh, it came out in uh, I think 2001. I think there was, from what the research I did on it, it was 12 issues, and there was an unpublished 13th, but, okay. So, I, Saturday, the August 31st, I went to the last day of my local comic shop's uh, August sale. The last week of August, all back issues are 50 cents a piece. And you know one of the one of the cool things is, uh, yeah, you know, when you go to like back issue sales like that, uh, you do, there's not a lot of really excellent stuff for the most part, and uh, then there's you know you can you find like one or two of things that are all just in, like thrown together. But every once in a while you find a gem. And you buy more than you probably would have if they're 50 cents a piece. So, I saw, this isn't the first issue obviously, uh, of 21 Down. And I looked and they're all just right there. There's 1 through 11. At the time I didn't know how many of them there were. So I said, okay, this is only going to cost me 5 bucks. Five and a half bucks. You know, if, if I don't like it, what's the worst that can happen? Never ask, ask that question because sometimes you don't want to know. But, okay, let me give you the breakdown of this series first of all before I go on anymore. You have a guy by the name of Preston Kills. 20 years old, he's kind of a loser, just a drifter, and you, you realize why, because he is going to die. He only has less than a year left to live. Uh, and so he's going to these, like, uh, I want to say like an AA meeting type of meeting, but it's a group meeting. For people who, this group is like cancer and, you know, they're trying to talk out their things, how they're laughing because they know they're going to die. And he says that's the closest thing that he can do to associate with what he has. Well, you find out that this is set in the Wildstorm, or the like the Wildstorm universe with Gen 13 and all that. Okay, so there is a group of people that are just, they were visited by this, I can't remember the name, I've looked everything else up, as, as kids by this, you know, kind of weird thing, and it's giving them these superpowers. Not really like cape and cowl type of superpowers. It's just these weird powers, and he has that, and it's kind of fucked his life up. He, he, it's he and his older brother are the only two left in his family. What he can do is he can touch somebody, and he can live the last, see the last couple of moments of the life of them, the little bit after, right? And so. His brother, whose older brother is a 
detective for the police department there, and his they don't really get along that well, but his older brother is just like, okay, whenever there's a problem or it's, you know, some, something that's really d difficult, his brother comes to him and says, hey, I uh, need your help. And, oh, and, and so the, the people who get this power, uh, it's not specifically that power, it's, uh, it could be other powers too, die by the time they're 21. And that's why he's saying he has less than a year to live. Uh, so he's he's in he's in this like tattoo shop with his friend, and there's this he's tired of the little group thing. So he there's a something on the net where it's like okay you put in your name and all this stuff and you can tell if you have powers or you know whatever. So he does it, and it turns out that it is connected to this woman right here who identifies herself comes to see him and identifies herself as, um, damn it, I just saw it a second ago. Um, Mickey Rinaldi with the FBI. And she's investigating this stuff. She had saved his life because one of the people that he, Preston sent his brother after, figured out who it was that sent him, and came to try and kill him, and the cop, the FBI agent, shoots him in the head. The bad guy, not me. And so you're dealing, they get this sort of a relationship going uh, with, you know, uh, She's trying to find, she gives him some line about what she's trying to do and kind of forces him into helping her while his brother is using him to help solve this really disturbing case of murders that are going on. Uh, like some chick in a gimp suit. You know, like, you ever see Pulp Fiction break out the gimp? Uh couple of women sewn together and they all have some sort of what they refer to as the genies you know, people who have the gene powers and that's what the FBI agent is involved in with too and boy it is this is kind of an over oversimplification of it but you you just get into these really kind of dark investigations and it is so well plotted out so well written and you know uh, each character is distinct each character has their motivations and then you're getting there's also a third storyline not involving Preston but it's uh, you find out there's a young girl who's being held by the government and it is Mickey's daughter who has some sort of power and this guy so the, the guy in charge of this thing is kind of forcing her to do some certain investigate certain things in order to get her daughter back so she's trying to get her daughter back and so you have all these machinations going on in this investigation Mickey and Preston doing their thing and then you're starting to see what's going on with the daughter and all that. And it was just starting to get really good. And uh, this is the end of issue 11. And now I know there's only one issue left. I need to go and try and find it. And uh, I just burned through all of them today. This was just such an excellent series. It sort of makes me mad that I didn't get it at, at the time because it, this was not necessarily at the height of the image, you know, thing, you know, because you still have uh, 
because I think at this point uh, Lee might have sold his stuff off, but because uh, it is you know seven, six, seven years after you know this, and I was kind of young and dumb and not really getting into the stuff that wasn't uh, Cape and Cowell. But I wish I would have been one of the ones buying this so it would have kept going. Because this is such a great series with a really original concept. You know, what would you do if you had, you know, a year left, less than a year left to live, and you had these abilities, would you be this petulant little guy, I don't want to deal with shit type of thing like he's doing? Or would you want to help the world like his brother is trying to get him to do? And uh, the Preston has this older guy that he helps out. Uh, the guy's in a wheelchair, and he comes and visits and all that, it's like they're friends. And the older guy is sitting there saying, hey, you know, you should, you should help out. So there's, there's the, you know, the debate of are you going to do good or are you going to not do anything and not help out the world? You know, sure, you don't have any time enough, but would you rather have gone out having done good things or just not having done anything at all and wasted your life? It was, this series was going to be going places. And it's kind of a shame, and I kind of blame myself for this because I was around at the time and I wasn't buying it, that people didn't see, know about this book and didn't buy it enough to let it continue. Because it would have been a great ongoing series. You know, they, uh, and it was just starting to really build up into something that you could tell was going to be even more, because they're, you know, they're, they're, they're building and building and building, <coughs> excuse me, and I, I am kind of glad that I got it, and I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't keep going, but you know, you have some pretty good art here. Uh, and neat little differences between, you know, okay, here's the stuff of them, and then on the other pages, uh, other people that they're keeping track of. So they, the, there's a nice little style that they, you know, one set of, you know, coloration and style for uh, not necessarily style but one color palette for the these people another color palette for these uh, it's just everything about this was so kind of interesting and enjoyable and I'm just annoyed I've I shouldn't keep saying this but I wish it would have stuck there wish there would have been more to it. So I'm gonna get sit there and give it a four point seven five out of five and say if you can get your hands on this the floppies, get it. Uh, I noticed that there was a thing on Kickstarter that had, you know, one of those uh, Kind of a whole shebang type thing with the whole series in it. Uh, plus, there's going to have you know, one through twelve. Then there's going to be the unpublished thirteenth uh, issue that went along with it. But I got to it too late, so I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't back it. But if you can get your once that comes out, hopefully it'll be out this year or early next year. I recommend you get that if you can. But anyway, let me know if you heard of it, if you read it, and what you thought of it. Anyway, 
Uh, like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comics.